What's going on guys? Back at it again. I'm about to do a quick install of my um, my sway bar sway bar end links um, on my previous video whenever I did the the extension uh, for the high lockup on the front of the Impala. Uh, a couple of uh, people noticed that uh, they were damaged. So I purchased some new ones and uh, I actually went with the uh, energy suspension. These right here. So I went with the energy suspension poly, uh, polyurethane bushings. So I'm expecting for it to work a whole lot better. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna install this right now. These are the new ones. And these are the old ones right there. You see how that one's all bent up? And I'm sure the one on the other side is in pretty bad condition as well. And these new ones, they're actually, they're, they come thicker, stronger, so. Yeah, see, same condition right there. Not as bad as the other one, but still pretty bad. So I'm about to swap them out, kind of bring out through it. Pretty simple. All it is, nut on top, and it's just a regular, bolt just going through it with the sleeve so uh there's a way of installing these i'll show you guys as as i'm installing them so let me go ahead and remove the old one here's the fun part getting it off of this sleeve I just might have to cut it so I finally removed it I had to cut it as you guys can see I used the, the grinding wheel cutting wheel so uh, now I'm in the process of installing it so I'm gonna use because it's got that little cup there where it sits so uh, let me go and start and putting everything in there's a way of installing these see you're gonna need a bushing and washer at the bottom and you're gonna need the the other bushing and washer on top after that goes through like that then you're gonna need your spacer this one right here goes in right through and then you're going to need the washer Wash your bushing next. That's where it'll sit on right there to give it the space. All right, there we go through here. Right there. Then this will go in. Next set of bushing and washer. That's what it'll look like right there. By the looks of it, I might need longer bolts. So, let me just set that in place and go set the other one up. There it is. All right, and these don't go overly tight, just nice and snug. That's it. Yeah, see. That's actually gonna have to go higher. We need a longer nut. And I believe that's why the other one's, the other one's bent. Let's do the thicker bushing. Here at the bottom. Let's see if it'll feel a bit better. A little better but not the way you should all right let's try this one out this is actually the one off of my truck I was gonna install it but since my truck is lowered uh, I'm actually 
going to need shorter ones and I was actually going to cut this one so I'm glad I, I didn't install this one first so let me go ahead and uh, try this one out on that because this actually has to be so a bit higher see guys here's the difference right here it's a big difference so let's try it out see see how it plays out all right this piece is in next piece is in then I'm gonna go ahead and install a spacer Spacer, washer, the bushing, sit it in. Oh, yeah, look at that much better, guys. Let's see how this plays out. So all they have to be is just nice and snug. They don't have to be overly squeezed, overly tightened. So uh, Renayo just damaged the, the little polyurethane bushings. So it's just nice and snug. Once you start feeling it snug, that's it. You don't have to see these things compress or anything. You squeeze all the way down. That was uh, my mistake I did previously. Because I did not know how they were installed. So. There it goes. Nice and snug. So that'll work out a whole lot better. And looks good too. So that's it guys. That's how to install the little end links. And um, I think I'm gonna install these as well. They look a bit worn, so just to be on the safe side. I should have ordered them. Uh, anyways. That's that. Hope uh, to help you help you guys uh, with y'all's installation, and catch you on the next one.